Hello everyone and welcome to Alicia's Guide to CSS. I am Alicia, your instructor for the course. So in today's session we are going to cover is we are going to cover CSS colors and backgrounds. We will see the different ways in which we can add colors, the hex code, RGB code and all of that. And along with that we will also see how we can work with CSS background. So let's get started. Hello everyone, I am Anisha and welcome back to Learn by Watch. So today's agenda is learning about CSS colors. So in the last class also we saw while we were doing CSS selectors that I was using colors. I was using color names to style my, uh, my tags, right? So I had a H1 tag which I gave a color as red. So I just wrote color, colon, red, semicolon. But now in this class, we'll see what RGB, RGBA and hex code are. So let's get started. For that, I've already created a .html file as well as a .css file. And they both are in the same folder. So let's write some simple HTML fast. So let's give some title. Let's have some H1 saying, hello, colors. Another H1 saying, I love colors. Then closing that and having an H2. Wow, that's pretty. Then we can have a paragraph with some lorem ipsum. It's a lot of text, so I'm just going to remove a bit of it. Then close my P tag. And after that, I'm going to add an H5 saying it was nice meeting colors. Okay, so now just save it. So now I also have colors.css, color.css. I must link it with this file and the href here would be color.css because both of them are in the same folder. So just file name is fine. Okay, so let's now start writing some this. Let's say I want to color my H1. So usually what I would do is I would say color red. But what if I want a different shade of red or something like that? So for that we have RGB. What is R, G and B in this RGB? Well, R stands for red, G stands for green and B stands for blue. So it is red, green and blue that you have. So the max that you can have here is like 255, 255, 255. That's the max color you can have. So let's try something random like 34, 45, 67. And let's save this and see which color do we get. And we have also saved it here. So let's see. Let's just open our file. There we go. So, if you see carefully, there's a slight difference between this color and this color. But because it's not that visible, let's try some other color. Now, what if you don't know the color code? Because in my case also, I did not know what I'm going to get. So, that's why I got a color very close to black. So, let's go here and pick some color, right? So, let's say I want this yellow color itself. So here is the RGB code they provide you with. So I'm just going to copy it. Go back to my sublime text. And put it here. And then save it. Once you save it, go back to hello and refresh. And you can see the yellow color. And it's quite visible. Right? Let's see what is the hex code for a black color. Well, for black, it's 0, 0, 0. And when you mix all the colors, red, blue, green, you get white, which is 255, 255, 255. So that's how you can choose RGB color. Okay, now let's try to style our H2 here. So I have H2 and this time, I have enclosed my comment 
but we must close our comment first and now it looks perfect. So in this H2, I want to provide a background color of some vision. Now this time I'm using RGBA. Now what does A stands for? A stands for its transparency. What do I mean? We'll see now. Okay. So I what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the same color code here. And I'm going to put transparency as 0.5. Let's go here. And you can see this color. And now when I refresh, you can see this is little lighter than that. It's a bit transparent. So if you cannot see it properly, let's do one thing. We do the same for para. We provide a background color here. And we just remove this A from here. And we remove 0 0.5 as well. And we save it. And now you can see the background color in A is very prominent. But here it's a little transparent towards transparency. So that's what our A is doing here. A is known to provide some transparency. Let's say I put 0 0.2 here and we go back and refresh and you can see it's even transparent, more transparent, right? So this is RGB, RGB A. Now, how did I get these codes? You just have to write CSS color picker on Google. When you search it, it provides you with a color picker which has all hex codes, RGB codes, and RGB A is based on the transparency that we want. And now let's see how hex code works. So let's say I want a color like this. Here it provides me with a hex code. Hex code, okay, I'll just show you in the subline text, okay. So what other tag do we have? We have an H5 there. So let's play with that now. We have H5. And let's get it a background color, but this time it's in hex code. So hex code starts with an hash and is made with these four, uh, I'm sorry, six spaces, right? So we have 49, which stands for red, D9, which stands for green, and then blue, okay, we have E3. Let's just put a semicolon here. And let's see what we get. And we got this. So in this video, what we have seen so far, we have seen the use of RGB. We have seen the use of RGBA. We also saw the use of hex code. So just to show it to you, the normal color method, color name method is like if I give this, just this, white, red, blue, green, anything you can give. I'm giving this and then you refresh to see it's white. Thank you so much for joining the class. I believe now you'll be able to work with CSS colors and background with no problem at all. But if you still have any doubts, please comment it down in the comment section and I will surely help you. Now if you like this video, please share it with your friends so that they can also take advantage of this course. If you are looking for a course with certification in CSS, then I am putting a link below in the description box. Do check that out. Thank you so much for watching.